This video will show you how to configure Moxa's TurboChain redundancy protocol. Moxa's TurboChain technology has three main benefits. One, it has an industry leading recovery time of less than 20 milliseconds for up to 250 switches. Two, TurboChain is flexible. You are no longer limited to ring-only topologies. And three, TurboChain saves you time and money. TurboChain operates on the principle of an open ring or a chain link. For this reason, there is no need to close the ring. This can save you at least two ports and one cable run per segment. There are three roles in the TurboChain topology. The first role is head. The head switch is the primary connection to the rest of the network. It connects to the rest of the network and a member switch. The second role is the member switch. These switches reside between the head and the tail switches. The third role is the tail switch. The tail switch is the redundant link to the rest of the network. Let's configure the MOXA switch for TurboChain technology. Let's start with the head switch. Open a web browser and type in the IP address of the first MOXA managed switch. The default IP address is 192.168.127.253. Now log in to your MOXA managed switch. If this is the first time you've logged in, there is no default password. Just click Login. Always check to see that you have the latest firmware version. You can find the firmware version number on the banner at the top of the screen. Now click on the Communication Redundancy menu item. Under the Settings Redundancy protocol, drop down the list and select TurboChain. Now select the role for this switch. This switch is the head, so we will select head. Next, we will select which port will be the head connection port and which port will be the member connection port. The head connection port is the port that connects to another segment of a network. The member connection port is the port that connects to the MOXA managed switch in the member role. Now click activate. This concludes the configuration for TurboChain for the head switch. Your current status should now say TurboChain. Now let's configure the member switches. Log in to your member switch. The difference between configuring a member switch and a head switch is simple. You need to change the role of the switch to member and adjust the ports that will be member ports appropriately. Again, choose Communication Redundancy, and then from the Redundancy Protocol drop-down, choose TurboChain. Now change your switch role to Member, and then assign the ports appropriately to the member connections. The member connection port is the port that connects to the MOXA managed switch in the member role. Now let's configure the tail switch. Again, the configuration is very similar to the head and member switches. Log in to your tail switch. Again, choose communication redundancy, and then from the redundancy protocol drop-down, choose TurboChain. Now change your switch role to tail and change the port associations appropriately. The tail connection port is the port that is the redundant link back to another network segment. This concludes the video tutorial on TurboChain technology. 
For more information and white papers, please visit www.moxa.com.